HTML5 Advanced Concepts. In this video session, we're going to explore um, content models. Before HTML5, or even today, in terms of HTML itself, we have block level elements and we have inline elements. As far as HTML tags are concerned, these are called block level elements as an example, right? And all these are called inline elements. Now I'll show you the sample code here that I've created for this video session. Divs are block level elements. Block quote is also a block level element. Whereby M tag is an inline element. So therefore, this block, this is the block, divisions of block. Remember, that's how we use the divs, right? And that's another block level element. And we have M tag, which is an inline element. Let me preview this on the browser. Here we've got the green background. That's the entire div. And as you can see, we have the emphasized tag and we have the block quote but block quote in this example since it's a block level element it takes another block within the document flow whereby inline element emphasize it stays within the line make sense so block level elements can have inline elements within them they can also have another block level element whereby inline element is just that it's an inline element that cannot have a block level element within it now since if you're beginning to learn html html5 and you may actually be aware of this concept but it's a very important concept for us to learn html5 because in html5 the content model is a little bit different And kinds of content introduced in HTML5 now is that we have metadata content, flow content, sectioning content, heading content. Now, if you're an absolute beginner looking at this, don't be overwhelmed because it is common sense as you will progress in your learning. Let's explore what these mean. Metadata content is content that sets up the presentation or behavior of the rest of the document. And it can be things like this here. These are metadata content. Flow content is all this here. All these tags are part of flow content, which is within our body tag. As we can see, most elements that are used in the body of document are categorized as flow content. Sectioning content are these new HTML5 tags. Headings, they stay the same in HTML. Heading 1 till heading 3. Phrasing content is just the text of the document and can include all these elements because we can place text within them. And if we do that, then they become phrasing content. Then we have embedded content. Things such as the video tag, audio tag, embed, canvas, image, object, SVG for vector images, and even maps. Interactive content is content that allows people to interact with it, such as when you press a button and so on. And yet, all these are considered as interactive content and that is the kinds of content in html5 keep an eye on these because understanding how to use particularly the sectioning of your document structure is very important because as i've said to you in the previous video sessions you know placing few tags here and there is not going to help anyone in terms of html5 because for us to take full advantage of its semantics, 
we need to at least understand how we can structure the content we are going to present on our web pages. And I'll talk with you in the next video session.